hopefully my videos is working today. Um, tonight I wanted to do a card that I um, showed before for my launch party. Um, so we're going to do this one today. So this is the um, so it is the Friends Are Like Seashells and the Beautiful Moments uh, stamp sets mixed together. So I'm using both of them. So there's the Friends Are Like Seashells. Um, and then there's the Beautiful Moments stamp set. So we're going to start, um, what I use, what's the color I'm using for this is the new, um, pink tone. So, um, it's called Polished Pink and it is a gorgeous color. Um, it's probably not showing up as nicely. It's a bright tone, um, but it's a little bit darker. So it's not, um, I don't know if I put the other, so this is Melon. The melon um, mumbo is brighter, whereas this one's a little bit more dark of a tone. So it's um, a really nice tone. I also use crumb cake. So crumb cake, and we've used white. There's not too much to this. I have. Um, two layered pieces so a white piece on top of the brown and then on top of the card and then a small white piece on the pink so that's all i've used um so it's not a lot of paper um but it does make a really pretty card so first we're going to do our background first so we're going to take our white card stock and i'm going to bring you that guys down here oops hopefully i didn't knock that out there we go. Alrighty. So we're going to take our um, little girls. Oh, we're not going to do that first. We're going to do the background first, and then we're going to do the inside. So the little piece of white paper, that's what we're going to use the little girls on. And we're also going to use uh, the, I don't know where I put it, there it is. So the happy birthday to my beautiful friend. So we're going to use that saying, which is off the uh, Friends Are Like Seashells. So we're going to do the big piece first. So that's this big white piece. And we're going to start with our three colors. So the three colors we're going to use for this card is Balmy Blue, Crumb, oops, Crumb Cake, High Constance, and uh, Polished Pink. And we're also going to use those three colors with our colors to color the um, images in of the little girls. So what we're going to do first is I started off with the bigger seashell. So we're going to start with that first. So we're just going to stamp that down. Now, remember with these new stamp pads, so the um, pink stamp pad, which is the polished polished pink, it is extremely wet when you first get them, so watch your fingers, because um, on my original card, I put stains all over it, just because I wasn't being very careful. So you're just going to move these about. just like that and so that's all we're going to do for the pink we're going to put the polished pink away so like I said it's really wet so you want to close it up you don't want to stick your hand in that because you'll, you'll have everything pink 
The next part we're going to do is crumb cake. So a crumb cake is going to be our tiny little seashell. Yeah, they're cute how the feet are in the water. I decided to do that because it kind of looks funny when you left them without the feet in the water. Hi, Joan. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Jane. So just like that. It doesn't really matter where you put them. I just kind of move them around. Just like that. So just in case you can see some of the edges, we're just going to fill in some of the inside. I know most of it's going to be covered, but if you don't fill up the spaces, you'll end up with a big white space that you didn't cover up. So, And then the last part, so that's the brown, the crumb cake. So we're going to take that, we're going to put the crumb cake away. And then the last color is going to be the balmy blue. So the balmy blue I'm going to use for the starfish. So this is a fun way of making your own background when you don't have paper. Or you've forgotten to buy the paper, which I've done before in the past. Our paper does coordinate really well with our images. But like I said, if you are unable to buy the paper or your paper didn't come in or it's a kind of a cool way to it's kind of a cool way to make your own background paper. I've filled in most of the card there. Oops, I can't see that very well. There we go. And so we'll put that to the side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, pink back and we're going to stamp down our top of the image with the happy birthday saying right off the bat. And then we're going to stamp down the little girls with the memento. And then we're going to color them in with the Stampin' Blends. There we go. So we're going to put that on the top of our page. Oh, but not backwards. There we go. Backwards wouldn't be... Upside down would be kind of funny. But I don't think it'll look really nice. <laughs> There we go. Hope everybody got out to enjoy the um, beautiful sun today. Um, I walked home and I was dying of the heat because I was wearing pants in my uniform. Oh my goodness. So, so hot. Alright, and then we're going to stamp down the little girls. So I'm going to put them up a little bit higher so I can make ground and the water so it looks like they're walking into the walking into the beach is what I call it because this image reminds me so much of me and my cousin when we were little because we spent almost every summer at the beach together so that we stamped down with memento and we're just going to put them close to the top where the saying is just right there like that and then we're going to color them in. So we'll move all of our stamps away just so we're not... Bring in all our paper. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to take... You probably can't see that very well. So I'm just going to move the curtains a little bit. 
This time of day is when I get sun. And it's coming right in the window. So I couldn't have my computer on the other side of the room or anything. <laughs> that would be too easy. Alright, let me adjust these. There we go. Now you should be able to see me a little bit better. I know it's going to be a little bit dark, but it's the only way we can show this way. So we're going to start with the pink. So um, I have a light uh, polished pink. We're going to start with their dresses. Oh, I did forget one color, so I'll have to go grab that. So because I think this is looks like me and my cousin, I made our skin like a peachy tone because I always think of me and my cousin, but you can make their skin tones, any tone that you would like to. We have tons, tons and tons of colors to make different skin tones. Alright, so there's their one part of their dress. And then you're just going to take your small end of your dark polished pink, and you're just going to highlight around where the black lines are. So that's all you do. And that's how you make highlights. You kind of follow what the artist did on the stamp. So you don't have to make up your own highlights. You just follow those lines. Which is what, what's so great about Stampin' Up! is they always give you some guidance. They don't usually let a plain space where you have to highlight it yourself. There we go. Alrighty, and then we're going to do, I'm going to do their hairs brown, just because it matches the, so we're just going to do light brown, and then we're going to highlight it with the dark brown. So on the weekend, I broke my glasses, so it's hard for me to see, because these glasses are a little bit different than my other glasses. So here's hoping I'm coloring in the right stuff. <laughs> the um the bifocal is a little bit different in these ones, so here's hoping. Here's hoping it looks pretty good. <laughs> it's been like the second time I've broken that pair of glasses. And I had put them on my head, and then I took them off my head, and the arm fell right off of them, so. I don't know. They haven't been the greatest glasses, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so then once you put those highlights in, you can go back over top of it with the light color. Just to kind of blend it together. So I always do light, dark, and then back to, to uh, if I want to blend it in a little bit more. I go black back to the light, light color. And the next part is the blue. So the blue is the balmy blue. So you're going to do light balmy blue. So light balmy blue. And dark balmy blue. like that. So just highlight it and then we're going to take, um, first we're going to do the ground. So we're just going to color in the, there's 
gonna color in the ground like that. Yep. And I'm gonna just grab my other uh, brown. These are my older ones, so they're more on the other ink. So these don't last forever, especially if you use them. I'm using them pretty much weekly to color things in. So I use mine all the time. So if you're using them all the time, you're going to eventually run out. So every few years, you'll probably have to buy a new set. Um, but I do love them. They're a lot of fun and they're easy to color and they don't take you seven hours to do a card. It's an easy way of coloring in. There we go. And then I did the, oh, and then I'm using um, ivory to do their skin. Ivory makes them look like they have a tan. I usually use uh, one of the peach tones. Oh, that's all right. Ivory works. There we go. And then we're going to use the dark blue. And we're just going to go over their feet to make it look like they're walking into the water. Just like that. So that turned out pretty cute. So the next part is... Oh, Jane, I'm the big one. My cousin was about four years younger than me, five years younger than me. So she was tiny and she was so little. So I was always the bigger one and I'd always, we'd always go in the water together. Um, and she would always stay with me in the water because I could swim for 12 hours at a time if I wanted to. Um, and I would have to be forced to come out of the water. And she'd be so cold because she was such a tiny little thing when she was little that uh, I'd have to pull her out of the water. And, like, they'd for have to force me out to get her out. Oh, it was hilarious. But, yeah, she loved me and her love to be in the water. Do I ever do dots in the sand? No, because um, sometimes it gets a little too pixelated. Because um, sand is not dots, right? Like if you see sand. Um, you could probably like maybe put some glue down and add some sand if you wanted to make real sand. But I don't usually add texture um, to... Unless I have a texture stamp. Like if I had a sand stamp. Which I don't think I do on these stamps. Then I would add some texture. So there you could add some texture. But it's just sometimes if you go too much, it's a little bit too, uh, it's just too busy. So I try to make it not too busy. All right, so now it's kind of time to put everything together. So you're going to take your piece of uh, crumb cake. You're going to take your a stamp and seal, and you're going to it's backwards, right? To me, yes. If I'm putting it together backwards, I have to remember I'm putting it together backwards. That it's upside down to me, or we'll end up having everything wrong. There we go. So we'll leave a little bit of a border, and then you're going to take this one. And you're going to seal that down. So just like that. Just like that. And then we're going to take this one. 
you're going to take the little piece of pink and you're going to take your little girls and you're just going to put them down with the border around it. And then we're going to take the, uh, where are they? Okay, I just have to find my dimensionals because you want to pop up the back of it. And for some reason, I put all my dimensionals away. All right, so you're wanting to do probably five. So this card all together took me 20 minutes to put together. So 20 minutes to make and 20 minutes to put together. It's not a hard card to make. Um, and it's really pretty. So you don't have to spend 20 hours on a card to make a nice card. Sometimes simple cards are better. Alright, so then you're wanting to put the dimensionals on the back of that and you want to put that in the middle. So just like that. Now when you're picking colors, I know my mom always asks me about this. What I do is I take, say I'll take three of the markers and I'll look at them. And I'm like, oh, those look really nice together. And that's how I pick my colors. Um, you don't have to have any type of rules. Um, these are similar tones. So they're like, um, like a kind of not a super bright but they're kind of similar in tone. Um, I'm not sure how else to explain that, but they look nice together. So if the three colors look nice together, that's how I pick my colors. Um, the new tone um, looked really nice with that blue, so the new uh, polished uh, pink looks really good with the uh, balmy blue. Um, so I thought that was pretty. And then you kind of pick a neutral color, like a gray or a brown to go with it. Um, and that's how I came up with the colors. Um, and so that's all done. So that's my one I made today. And then I'll show you the original one. They're a little bit different. You never make them exactly the same. Plus this one I have smudges. So right here, I have smudges on it. Because of the wet stamp pad and me not washing my hands in between stamping. So that's what I did. This time I did not have smudges all over it. So it looks a lot better. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. Thanks, Joan. Yeah, Joan, it's a good way of making background, especially when you have stamp sets. Like when you have a bunch of stamp sets and you want to use them, um, like the seashell one is great for background. Um, there's other different um, background ones like the splashes that we have. Um, there's a few different ones that have splashes in them. Um, what else does? Any type of like textured backgrounds too will look nice that way. It's a really cool way of doing that. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I will have the, the video will be there for you to see again if you um, missed it tonight or if you just wanted to watch it again. Um, the video is always there for you to watch. So um, they I don't take those down. So um, I will see you next Tuesday and hopefully everybody's having a great week. And hopefully everybody who did put in an order got their order. So um, hopefully that's all in for everybody. I have to still pick mine up because mine got dropped off in the morning when I wasn't home from work. So um, I'll have to go pick mine up tomorrow. But um, hopefully everybody got their orders and I will see you next Tuesday. Have a great night.